Welcome back to Teach My Kids Maths. If you watched our previous video, you'll remember I left you some sums for you to complete by yourself. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work out the answers to these long multiplication questions using the quick method. Let's start with the sum 35 times 12. So, we start by multiplying the top number by the units and then we'll move on to multiplying the top mu number by the bottom tens. So we start with 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. We place the 0 in the units column and we carry the 1. Again, if you are used to putting carrying the one underneath, that's fine. You can place the one underneath here and then add it on to your answer. Our next step is to multiply 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 1, which is 7. I'm going to cross out this 1 to show that I've used it. We now need to multiply the 1. Now this 1 is really a 10. So to show that, we'll put a 0 in here first because whenever we multiply a number by 10, the answer always ends in a 0. Now we can do 1 times 5 is 5 and 1 times 3 is 3. 3 will go in the hundreds column. We can now add our two numbers together. So we put our add symbol in and we're ready to find our answer. 0 add 0 is 0. 7 add 5 is 12. So we've put our 2 down here and we are carrying the 1. 1 add 3 is 4. So our answer is 420. Our next sum is 48 times 25. So we begin by multiplying the 5 by the 8. 5 times 8 is 40. So we place the 0 in the units column and we're going to carry the 4. You can place the 4 underneath if you wish to. Now we multiply 5 times 4 is 20 plus 4 is 24. I'll cross out the 4 because I've used it. We're now multiplying 2 times 8, but remember, it's really 20 times 8. So we're going to put our 0 in first. And now we can do 2 times 8 is 16. So we place our 6 here, and we need to carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. We now need to add the two numbers together. 0 add 0 is 0. 4 add 6 is 10. Put the 0 in the 10s column and carry the 1. 2 add 9 is 11 plus the 1 is 12. So our answer to 48 times 25 is 1200. Our next sum is 54 times 23. 
We begin by multiplying the top number by the 3. So we've got 3 times 4 is 12. Carry the 1. 3 times 5 is 15 plus the 1 we carried which is 16. We now need to multiply 54 by 20. Because we're multiplying by 20, we put our 0 in first. Now we can multiply by 2. So we go 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10. We need to make sure we put our numbers neatly in the correct columns for our hundreds, tens and units and here we've got thousands. We can now add our two answers together two add zero is two six add eight is fourteen we place our four here and we're going to carry the 1. You can place the 1 underneath here if you wish to. 1 add 0 is 1 plus the 1 that we carried is 2. And then we've got our 1 there. So the answer 54 times 23 equals 1242. Our final sum is 61 times 34. So again, we multiply the top number first by the 4, and then we multiply the top number by the 3. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. 24. We've then got 30 times 1, but we can put the 0 in first, and now we can do 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 6 is 18. We can now add our two numbers to find our final answer. 4 add 0 is 4, 4 add 3 is 7, 2 add 8 is 10, we need to carry the 1, you can place it underneath if you want to, 1 add 1 is 2. So our answer is 2074. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe below.